Hey guys, and 3 here with another Let's Play, this time of Majesty 2. I've played this game before, but I don't think there's a lot of videos out on it, so you know, I thought maybe we could do a campaign and, you know, record it. Pardania. Pardania. Glorious Pardania. Sean Connery. For the last five centuries, descendants of the great king have sat upon this throne. It's a long time. Indeed was the great king, our first ruler, who united the lands Maybe. from the southern seas to the northern field. I guess you'll tell he me. Whose blade was the death of a thousand foes. Yup. And each king thereafter followed the tradition, slaying the dragons, kings. hunting down necromancers, and exterminating legions of goblins and rats. Thus, <laughs> each in their time came to be known as Great. But our good King Leonard was born to hard times. Sad. The romancers of old had long since been vanquished, and the rats had grown small and pitiful. And as he grew older, our king Dead. came to fear the worst, that his portrait might never hang in the hall of the Great King. That doesn't sound that Though bad, actually, but okay. Through his metal, the blood of a hero ran swift in his veins. Thus, our brave king, in his wisdom, determined that he would summon up the most terrible baron of hell. That that doesn't For indeed, seem. All of our Dania would sing that, the praises of any mortal who could slay such a beast. Pretty stupid. And so, applying all their skill and concentration. You... The court mages performed the terrible ritual. And Why the would you did appear? What what why he would you never waver, but stood locked in his deadly contest for five long days? Yeah. Alas, in the end, the demon beast prevailed. And so that spawn of hell took Leonard's place on the throne. Since then, many princes what? and dukes have perished in that futile effort pretty to destroy stupid. the beast. Why would you do that? And despair have fallen over our day. Why would you have a big enough throne to set an evil beast of? But now I have found demon you, your Majesty. Yay, Sean Connery found me. King's bloodline. You, our only hope. Your kingdom well, awaits you, sire. You guys are doomed. I'm your only hope. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So. Here we go. You, this is a tutorial level. I don't. I'm not going to be playing the tutorial level. Because I already know how to play the game. I've done this before. And I don't feel like playing it really. I will be doing randomizing though. Which. Might make things tougher or easier. Basically it randomizes each and every level. We got to go through each level to get to the next and I think like this one no I don't know which one's the last one but here we go this will be the first one the engine of commerce which is wait what oh okay. wait this is build a solid economic system let's do this good morning your majesty good morning still an early riser I see yep I have news for you while we wait for your breakfast yum yesterday it's bacon I love bacon I continued negotiation with the head of the local merchants guild. They're pretty well, nice. The guild is I hear. ready to sign a trade agreement with you. Really? Me? me sir, hmm. The kingdom needs this. There are certain concessions <laughs> it that does. need to be met. But the investment well, the United well States worked. doesn't have an economy. Soon but doom tish. That's pretty terrible. But okay. Ah, your breakfast has arrived. Yes. Well, Let's... the details will wait. Bon appetit, sire. <laughs> Good. Keep the details waiting. Oh, I enjoy breakfast. Okay, let's go. Your Majesty, to develop trade, mm -hmm. you need to build the marketplace first. Yep. You While really your peasants that? are working, send heroes to the port. The Merchant's Guild representative yes. is afraid for his safety and refuses to travel alone. The port okay. is located to the northeast of your palace. Got it. So it's through these hills, over the hills. Over the river through the woods to Grandma's house we go, and there's the ship. Yippee! Okay, so the game is, this is your castle. These are like some guards, some villages that generate money for you. 
What's up, guys? I'm gonna pause the recording. I'm gonna turn down the volume I in the game. Wish. Okay, guys, back again after fixing hopefully the volume issue. But so y you can click this little button. This will select the palace. So now you can make some guilds from heroes, some economic buildings, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a market right away. Here, think of this game as an F or er, not an FPS. <laughs> yep, I'm shooting people. No, think of this game as an MMO, like World of Warcraft or something. Except instead of being the hero. You're the person who builds the towns, puts the quests out, everything like that. Yep, that's pretty cool actually. So I'm gonna make this market so they can give you some potions and stuff. Make some potions. I'll need a blacksmith too. Right, first actually I'm gonna make some guilds. Cause we're probably gonna want a warrior's guild here. This will make some warriors for us. So these heroes, they basically they'll run around and do missions. Now, you can't tell them just like, okay, first I'm gonna, this is me researching these potions. So now heroes, when I make them, can come and buy them. Each guild has three hero slots to make a hero. Now these heroes won't follow your orders directly. When you place a flag, like I'll put one, I want to someone to go out here and look. They won't just do this. Well, maybe rangers will, because they like exploring, but I have to put money to make them want to do this so they'll come here and do it and then they'll get the money so they can come back and buy stuff in your shop and then the money comes back to me but in the end I think it's pretty actually a really good idea so I'm gonna make a warriors and then rangers just so we can get some really pretty fast like figure out where everything is we don't have all the abilities yet I don't think. Well, yeah, I know we don't have all the abilities yet. But right now, I'm making some warriors. So these guys are very tough. They like attack and defense flags, and from the fifth level, they can force people to kill. Or yeah, well, attack them, kill them, attack them. Where Same difference. Now there are these monster dens, like this one. They summon monsters, so I can tell people to attack them. But yeah. So first, I want to try and figure out where trading posts are so we can start getting a lot more money we're gonna get this guy here so him right he's like collecting some money so he's gonna get a bunch of money and stuff and he bought some potions now this ranger he's gonna immediately probably be like well what are they doing right now they're looking for adventure they're all looking for adventure they, none of them see this none of them are interested in coming over here looking at it oh that's kinda sad well, I'll send some more out there Go look. Discover. One more ranger. And we'll make a blacksmith. Where is it? There it is. Now they can... Basically, it's almost the same thing as a marketplace, except they will do weapons and armor that your heroes can buy. Tax collector. Tax collector. Yeah. I'm sorry, I enjoy this game too much. Especially the weird and awesome voices that they have. Why is no one gonna... Oh, he's going... See, he's going out on this adventure quest now. Oh, I forgot to say the rangers. They eagerly respond to explore... I'll read from you. Eagerly respond to explore flags and best of all heroes in battles against beasts. Oh, it looks like he just found a crypt of skeletons at a level 5 and he's only level 1. If he decides he wants to fight them, this will be bad. But now he's got a hundred bucks. And he's fighting a skeleton. That's way better than him. No, 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 battle cam, battle cam, oh, he leveled up, nope, that's not gonna save him, he's running, <laughs> if I were him, I'd run too, oh, looks like we got some skeletons, that probably means we should make, start to make, oh, I see a bear there, some guard towers, get on that, so they're just killing them, getting some money, leveling up, can I memo, <laughs> how's this guy doing? fighting a bear. I don't think, okay, I don't think he'll live, but you're gonna attempt it. Okay, so the blacksmith is up. So I can basically say, you guys can get this armor and new weapons if you want. Once it's done researching. But right now, I'm gonna say, go destroy this crypt. So two people are interested. This guy, this warrior here, and this ranger. So we're going to build this tower so we can defend that. Anything that comes from this area will get shot. Prepare There's money to all over the place, too. 
He's just gonna stab it up. And he's just gonna shoot. Where is my ranger stand? So you can give them skills too. Like I can upgrade the building to get them this skill. And also I have abilities like this one, which lets me temporarily increase the V range of rangers. What happened to that ranger? If you guys die, you can resurrect them. So that's kind of nice. But yeah. But then it makes a grave, like right in the center of your town, which skeletons will come out of. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. But right now, I'm going to make a clerics guild. So clerics, healers, they'll just heal everyone up. Which is going be useful. So they're just here fighting. That dude should probably run. Yeah. Uh, oh gosh, please run fast. I don't want to have a grave right now. Oops, that's warriors. They're not done building yet. See, like that, sewers end up, you can't destroy them, and rats will slowly come out and kill and destroy your buildings. So, actually, a good strategy is to, like, put a tower next to, like, a sewer, but towers cost more money the more that happens. Bunny, bunny wabbit. Okay, I'm getting distracted. ADD. No, not really. I am getting distracted. So he's sitting here, stabbing people. Leveled up some. Sitting here, shooting that thing. Soon they'll be able to destroy it. I hope fast. How? Uh, why is no no one wants to go? There's a hundred bucks. You know we're gonna make some more rangers then. Oh, the cleric's done. So we'll set up a cleric. She can run around, heal people. Blast some undead. Oh, should probably do the thing. Can heal best of all heroes in battles against the undead, which is basically the exact same thing I said. He's running. He's getting shot. And now he's dead. So I'm gonna research this amulet that they can buy. No one wants to get this. Okay, there's another hundred. Someone go out there and explore, please. Okay, so they destroyed this, but they really want that money, it looks like, so they're just going to take these skeletons out, or not. <laughs> they're going to run. He's going to try and take that guy out, and then take all the money, probably. I just need people to go out and explore. Like that guy. See? Level 1. Run around. Oh, yeah. Get that chest. You'll, you, you don't... Get, you don't need it, I guess. Those are rats. Ugh. Darn them rats. Okay, well, we'll make a tower right here just to deal with those rats, because they're going to be annoying if they just kill our villagers. Whoa. Did we find a ba two bear dens and a crypt, and he's just running around in the middle of them all. That's pretty dangerous. It's dangerous enough to make me want to send a crew out there to get it. 200 bucks to destroy that thing. Danger. I don't know how interested they'll be. I also want someone to explore. I already said someone to explore out here, right? Yep. Nope, that's not a guy. Well, 200 bucks. Someone's gone. I think him, yeah. What's he fighting? A bear? Knowledge and Can't see. Grow. Looks like a skeleton. Uh, run man. I'll just research the rest of this so people can buy whatever they want. What else do I need? Well, it's not everything's unlocked. At least I haven't everything unlocked. I think almost everyone's ready. I think we're ready to move. Push on something. Is anyone gonna go for this? Yep, we got a cleric. She's right there, blasting that undead to pieces. Blast it. Blast it more. Good. Keep blasting. They're building stuff. I think we should have someone head out and get there. I don't really need them to protect it. I just want them to explore to it. 200 bucks to explore there. Wait, what? No, I pressed the wrong button. 200 bucks. 100 bucks to explore that. That's all I'm offering. I'm a cheap king. I don't want to pay these heroes their rightful money. And let's 
I really want another cleric because they're so useful. So we'll have one more. Is the cleric just going to be the only one beaten on it? Well, I guess she'll level up to be like an insanely superb cleric. A reward oh. for my toy. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut off the recording here and I will sometime I'll be back to play the rest of this mission.